Hi, it's Chris here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center on Thursday evening with a lot of changes happening as I am recording this. We had a very warm day across the region today. Here's a look at the numbers. 83 in Spokane, 84 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. Look at all the 80s, all the way up to Bonners Ferry. 92 in Lewiston. That is a new record high. We are cooling down uh, quickly as there is a cold front moving through right now. Here's four things to know. It's going to be a breezy night, some blowing dust possible, in fact, likely, with wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour, possibly even a little, little higher in spots. Showers possible. I don't think we're going to get much rain, however, going with this. Wouldn't rule out an isolated thunderstorm. And then we have dry, cooler weather on the way for Friday. Much cooler weather. Here's our satellite and radar, and this just takes us up to right before 6 o'clock. So if you're watching Watching this this evening uh, fast forward but we do have some moisture trying to come up from the south we have the possibility of showers and isolated thunderstorms from about 7 tonight until about midnight uh, again my thoughts about thunderstorms is that anything that we see will be very isolated here's our computer model forecast shows a few showers uh, through the early part of the overnight and then by tomorrow morning most of the shower activity is in the central Panhandle Mountains and we're clearing out sunshine to start the day and then clouds will build up in the afternoon with the possibility of some hit and miss showers mainly again over the mountains some convective activity in the instability behind the front that is passing through right now it's ushering in an upper level trough and we're going to see a big drop in our temperatures down into the 50s for the next few days we'll keep things on settled for Saturday and Sunday. Mainly mountain showers, breezy conditions. Wouldn't rule out an isolated shower in the valleys, but boy, they're going to be on a very hit and miss basis. Overnight lows tonight will be in the 30s and 40s. High temperatures tomorrow, no 80s and 90s. 50s and 60s around the region. Here's a look at your seven day outlook. I hope I'm pushing the button. There we go. Uh, breezy and cool for the next three days. Overnight lows in the 30s. And then we start warming up again in the forecast. Now, I don't have a single solitary drop of rain on that forecast, but that does not mean that we will not see an isolated shower Friday, Saturday, or Sunday afternoon with the instability that we get with this kind of weather pattern. I would be shocked if we measured any rain. Uh, let's see, I would not set the Mona Lisa outside on your deck because it might get sprinkled on. <laughs> I've never used that analogy before. I was trying to think of something you really don't want to get even a sprinkle of rain on. I would say the Mona Lisa. Um, or, you know, if you're staining your deck, you don't want, if you got a few little sprinkles on it, it might ruin the finish. So don't set the Mona Lisa out and do not stain your deck this weekend. Otherwise, you'll be fine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And uh, check you back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday or tonight on 4 News Now Nightside at 11 o'clock.